I'm Carrie Sharp with the New Channel 5 Network. Here are your afternoon headlines. Police are looking for a woman who they say was involved in a deadly crash. They want to crush, question Pamela Parks about a crash that happened early this morning on Murfreesboro Pike on the iron ramp to I-24. Greg Rosebud was walking across the ramp when he was hit and killed. Two women ran away from that vehicle. Investigators say they found Parks ID inside the car. A woman is now, or excuse me, a man is behind bars after two pipe bombs were found near a road in Manchester yesterday. Police say Justin McCart admitted to throwing the bombs out of his car on Walker Street to scare his girlfriend. When investigators searched his home, they also found two more bombs and ingredients to make more. He is charged with four counts of possessing a prohibited weapon. His bond is set at $100,000. Bonnaroo got off to a very slow start. Late, late last night, I-24 was still at a standstill as people tried to make their way into the festival. Some people on Twitter claimed to have been waiting in line for more than 17 hours. Bonnaroo is sold out, and TDOT says they expect lots of traffic until at least Friday evening. After a two month wait, Riverfront Park will finally have its cherry blossoms back. The trees were removed to make way for the NFL draft stage back in April, and after lots of backlash, the NFL agreed to replace them. The new trees were planted this morning. Nice cool day to do so. Here's meteorologist Heather Mathis. An absolutely perfect day. Low humidity temperatures have been in the 70s all afternoon. Tonight we're going to see clear skies, a light wind. It's a good recipe to see some patchy fog in the morning, specifically around our waterways. Temperatures tonight will be in the low 50s, even the mid 40s towards the plateau. So a cool start to our Friday. Tomorrow we're looking at the 80s making a return, but get this sunshine and the lower humidity sticks with us at least for one more day. Looking ahead to the extended period, Saturday and Sunday, upper 80s return. So does the humidity looking at scattered storms for Father's Day.